Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. It's time to talk a little bit about price. I'm going to share with you a number of opinions from chart analysts out there. And uh, one XRP chart analyst says that it is time to put on your moon boots. Uh, looking a little bullish out there, right? Win moon, win Lambo. The answer is always Friday at 2 p.m. So I'm going to share with you all sorts of opinions, and I make these videos specifically for those that are interested in the opinions, uh, the ultimate conclusions that uh, chart analysts come to, but don't necessarily know how to read charts themselves, because I, I'm among those, I, and I don't really have any interest in, in learning. And so to that end, I would say that if when a chart analyst mentions head and shoulders, you believe he's referencing anti-dandruff shampoo. If you believe that Mac D is the freshest hip-hop artist, if you believe that Fibonacci is a fine Italian restaurant down the street, my friends, this video is just for you. Welcome. <laughs> but before going any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP, you done came to the right spot, son. Go ahead and subscribe. You might not regret it. No promises. All right, so let's go ahead and get the latest update here. The crypto market cap sitting at $208 billion. Uh, Bitcoin's uh, just a hair over 8,000. 8,003 and 29 cents. And XRP's at 20.7 cents. And so uh, kind of negative price action a little bit over the last 24 hours on the whole, but nothing terrible. I think that a lot of... Uh, a lot of chart analysts were kind of expecting that. In fact, I'm going to highlight that in this video. Uh, we're going to start here, though, uh, with uh, an article from you today titled, Ripple's XRP price likely to hit next target of 23.9 cents soon, crypto trader believes. All right, uh, XRP has had a good start this year, rising from 19 cents to 21 cents. Now the eyes of the community are on this coin with the bulls expecting XRP to keep rising. On Tuesday, the financial analytical agency Weiss Ratings stated on its Twitter page that XRP may see a significant price rise as soon as Ripple has sold a large portion of XRP it holds, giving the bulls a hope to buy a Lambo with their XRP in the future. <laughs> it's like the stupidest thing I've read on this channel. Eh, that's probably not true. Whatever. <laughs> Subheading, the next target for XRP is 23.9 cents. A trader at Geraldo XRP, by the way, for those of you that don't know, Harry, who is at Geraldo XRP on Twitter, he absolutely called the beginning of the run-up in 2017 of XRP when many people were selling their XRP thinking that it was a waste. Uh, oh my God! Look at how Bitcoin's rising. This and that. I remember seeing. Uh, there's. I, I can't remember who it is at this point, but somebody was running a YouTube channel, a crypto YouTube channel, and he was talking. This is days before the bull run of XRP started. Talking about how nothing's happened with XRP, and he talked about how he just sold all of his XRP holdings. And at that point, I was still just buying, um, you know, whatever money I could get in at the time. It was hard to get money in when you're new to crypto and the, hard to even get signed up with exchanges back then. There was just They couldn't process all the uh, onslaught of new customers anyway. But he was just selling it. I just, I'll never forget that. And then, bam, I was like, oh, I don't know if you want to do that. I remember thinking that I was watching this video, and then days later it took off. But anyway, Harry, he actually called it. Um, and absolutely. And so that's why if you go to his page on Twitter now, you'll see what's, the, the, what's pinned to, because uh, you can pin one tweet on Twitter. Uh, that tweet from 2017 is what he has pinned, and I, I'd say a uh, well-deserved pin right there. So here you go. XRP bulls have eyes on a next target of 23.9 cents. Let's go. All right, another trader at Crypto Donald also noticed a sudden rise of XRP as 2020s kicked off. Yeah, uh, yeah everybody noticed. <laughs> it's spreading bullish sentiment around. And he wrote this. XRP going vertical, love to see it. Um, and let me go ahead and hop on to uh, the next, uh, where we go, sorry, let me scroll up just a little bit here. Uh, so here's a piece from uh, News BTC titled, Bye Bye Bear Market? Question mark. These hallmark Bitcoin reversal signs appeared. And so let's let's go ahead and look into this a little bit. Um, and then the funny next to the article after this too, uh, it's basically the polar opposite. It's from the same source too. Bitcoin fractal hints at six more months of downtrend, uh, worst to yet come. I think it, so. If that comes to be, it just means that Bitcoin saw its shadow, obviously. So here we go. Um, according to a number of analysts, Bitcoin's charts are printing bullish technical signals galore. 
Bit- BTC Kyle posted the, tw- the below tweet noting that Bitcoin's weekly chart has printed a bullish parabolic stop and reverse candle for the first time since the $14,000 candle in June of last year. Yes, the SAR has not confirmed, though it is a positive sign for bulls should it close positive. Uh, that's far from the end of it. Josh Ozewitz, I don't know. That's the best I can say that. Uh, analyst at Brave New Coin recently noted that Coinbase is Coinbase, Coinbase is now trading at a slight premium over Bitfinex. This is purportedly an extremely bullish signal that underscored much of the rally seen in 2019. And there's a tweet on the screen right there. Um, and Adaptive Capital's new analyst, CL, recently noted that Bitcoin's four-hour chart is showing clear signs of a reversal on a medium-term basis. The trader and chartist specifically looked to the Bollinger Bands indicator, uh, which he claims shows a bullish trend is currently emerging. And uh, here's uh, here's the quote. Uh, when price starts deviating away from the 4-hour 200 MA, moving average, out of the bands, especially after consolidation and a BB squeeze, a new trend usually emerges. There's not much more to say. I will be buying dips. Send it. <laughs> so bullish sentiment there. So what about this uh, negative article on the same day from the same source? Different author, but still same source. Uh, crypto market sentiment is the most bullish it's been for uh, uh, been this year thus far, and the most bullish for Bitcoin since the historic October 2019 rally that set the record for the asset's third largest single day gain. However, while bulls are celebrating early that the downtrend is over, a fractal from 2018 could suggest that there's going to be another six months of crypto winter, and that the worst of the current downtrend is yet to come. <gasps> Has Bitcoin seen its shadow? Starting in December, Bitcoin price repeatedly tested lows around $6,500, forming an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Great anti-dandruff shampoo. Uh, That has since confirmed and driven Bitcoin to as high as $8,450 last night before a slight retracement began. Well... What's this going to do for XRP, too? <laughs> What's it going to do for the whole crypto as a class if we start tanking the other direction? Uh, the first ever cryptocurrency continues to trade above $8,000, currently at $8,300. It's already done, obviously, 300 since then. I already reported on that. Uh, the lean crypto asset by market cap holding above 8000 is considered extremely bullish, and it's convinced the crypto community that the current downtrend has finally come to an end. That's true. Uh, a lot of chart analysts, uh, some of which were saying maybe it's likely that uh, within the last couple of weeks that Bitcoin might get as low as, say, $5,000 range or so. Uh, some of them are starting to say, hey, no, it kind of looks like the bottom might be in here. So anyway, so the piece continues. The relative strength index is showing a clear breakout of a downtrend, however. At the same time, the indicator is signaling that Bitcoin is far more overbought now than it was during the October uh, China news-driven pump. Uh-oh, being overbought's never good. However, the current price action appears to be eerily familiar and nearly matches up perfectly with a fractal dating back to July 2018. And if the fractal is legitimate and plays out, not only is Bitcoin's current downtrend not over as many believe, but the worst is still yet to come. Now, this will be fascinating because I will tell you, one of the more notable chart analysts who I include, he's not in this video, uh, but, uh, but, but I include him in a lot of videos when I, I'm talking about... Uh, uh, price and what chart analysts have to say is a uh, magic and he's got over 69,000 followers and he is pretty confident that the direction of Bitcoin um, is, is going to continue to be downward. Uh, despite this relief rallies, whatever you want to call them, he seems very confident that Bitcoin still is going to get down to, I think he said the low, maybe the low 5,000s, and if, if support is not held there, I mean, it could ultimately get as low to, uh, he cited, and I covered this in a, a fairly recent video, uh, $1,200. So it'll be interesting to see who's right. Um, <laughs> is it true that, uh, you know, the bottom is in here or, or not? Oh, we shall see. Um, here's a tweet from XRP chart analyst and also fellow XRP YouTuber Stone Hodel XRP, who wrote this: "Bull flag run, I'm sorry, bull flag from 2017 set to repeat here in 2020. Put on your moon boots." And he tagged me along with a couple others right here. And so here's the image that he attached. And um, let me just say this, Stone Hotel XRP, I hope you're right. <laughs> that would be rather delightful. So we, we shall see all in good time here. Um, next, here's a tweet from Josh Rager. Sounds angry. And he's, this is about Bitcoin. Price had an initial rejection off key area 8400s that previously 
uh, was resistant slash support. Uh, watching for a pullback to uh, 7800s uh, to $7,900 range before a bounce and push to the upside for retest. And he writes, not out of the bare woods yet. Take it level by level, day by day. And so he generally is looking more in the short term than some other analysts out there. But, uh, yeah, it's true. So Bitcoin got up to around that $8,400 range and is currently hovering just above 8000 So if he was looking for a pullback to seventy eight to 7900s uh, that indeed may come to pass. And that's why, you know, if the chart analysts, uh, look, they're not wizards and most of them don't claim to be. But uh, it's just, like I always say, it's about probability of outcomes. All right, uh, next now, here's, I just wanted to cite this because this, this was kind of interesting to me. This uh, just ended up being completely accurate. This is chart analyst Crypto Wilson, and he tweeted this out yesterday. Bitcoin USD, potential correction for tomorrow as markets look peaked. We've been rising for a few days in a row and have landed at resistance. And here's the image that was associated with that tweet right here. So you can see here's the... Uh, uh, resistance line that he had drawn. He said that, hey, we're up against it. Looks like that tomorrow it's not going to look so hot. And what happened t tomorrow, which is now today? <laughs> Here's a tweet from him today, Crypto Wilson. And uh, all he wrote was BTC USD, and then he's got a little like a e e like emoji stock, you know, trend line going downward image here with a check mark because he was correct. And you can see it did bounce directly off that uh, resistance line that he drew and down, spot on. And so, um, you know, that's, that's again why I say, and I don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't care to learn. I'm not ever, never going to pretend to be somebody. I'm not. I, I'm not a chart analyst, but there is something to it. It's it's not all about just wild price predictions. It's about probability of outcomes. And here you go, case in point. Um, and here here's a tweet now from uh, Awake, a member of the XRP community who is at Mr. Level Up on Twitter. Here's what he wrote: uh, We are ready to start the next hill. Should happen within the next day or two. And then he writes, that's an estimate. We go back up to 23 cents is what I'm looking for, which means hill one is complete. Has this first hill bottomed? Question mark. I can't confirm that. It's good enough, but uh, a little lower into 20s possible. And, it, and of course, again, XRP did, indeed did go down a little bit. So we're like I said, we're sitting at um, uh, 20.7 cents at the time of recording here. So who knows? What uh, what is indeed going to be next? Um, <laughs> it's, it's fascinating to watch, though, because especially as, as many of you know that have watched these videos I put out that specifically cover the, the content that traders uh, you know put out there. It's been very fascinating. I've been very curious over the past few weeks with so many over that time frame talking about low five thousand for bitcoins, and now many saying, "Hey, it looks like actually the bottom's in." Uh, let's we're, we're going to know pretty soon, though, aren't we? And as far as XRP price, I'm sorry, I don't like it either. I know you don't and I don't, but uh, XRP is still following Bitcoin, even though it was great to see a couple days ago XRP leading the market. That's unfortunately not yet the norm, but people will figure this out and uh, that's going to change. But you can let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for this one. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.